everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is so exciting because we're gonna be giving this fireplace right here a huge makeover and a massive facelift so if you are in the market for a new fireplace and you just can't afford to tear this entire thing out and want something really quick a really simple budget friendly DIY then definitely keep on watching so to give you guys a little bit of context we moved into this house about a year ago and it has been a lot of work in this house. We have put new floors in, we've done a lot of drywall repair, we've ripped out closets, we've created a home theater upstairs. We've done so much to this home and I think the one thing that still has like remnants of the old home is this fireplace right here. It actually used to be red brick and now I painted it white. And although I love it, I still feel like it has that outdated look just because of the brick. And I know there's gonna be a lot of you guys out there, maybe some diehard brick fans that love brick and are all about it um, and definitely if you have brick in your home then I hope you love it but honestly I have a different decor style I like things to be minimal and very aesthetically pleasing and brick for me just isn't it I think one of the most exciting things about this DIY is that it's actually very simple and easy to do and it's also super affordable if you have most of the materials and it's gonna cost you less than hundred dollars to do this and it's going to really transform your space so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this. I need to clear up the space. I need to tape everything off, remove that speaker from there to make sure we don't get anything damaged. I'm probably gonna move the TV up a little bit more. It is an adjustable mount. So I'm gonna lift it up a little bit more just to avoid anything from getting on the TV. And we're gonna hop right into it. I'm super, super excited. So let's go. are done with the first coat it's looking pretty good it was a little bit of a learning curve because the arctic dries so fast literally within yeah. 10 minutes it's already the hardest consistency and it's so hard to spread so i did put in a little bit more water even though like the packaging says not to um i don't really think it messed with anything and we're going to put another coat on top so you're not going to really see anything that's going on under it we used an entire bag for this first one because we have such thick grooves in between each brick i think the other bag should be enough to do the last coat and smooth out everything and then we're going to paint it and that's pretty much it so i'm going to let it dry i'm working on another project right now so i'm going to go finish that up um and i'm going to work work on that right now while this dries and then we'll come back and do the last coat and then we're going to paint it Good morning everybody it is the next day and it is fully dried ready to be painted it looks amazing you guys let me flip the camera and show you real quick so this is the 
I'll come the day after it is fully, fully dry and it looks amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to paint this. And of course, if you like the cement look, then you can leave it like this. Or even you could go in with another coat on top of this and actually give it more of like a Venetian plaster type of look. Or you can even go buy the Venetian plaster and, and cover it on top. So there's many, many different options that you can do to give this like whatever makeover you want. Personally, I still like the white. I just wanted it to be a little bit more flat and more modern looking. So yeah. All right, you guys, good morning. So it is about two or three days later um, since my last clip. And pretty much what happened is I ran out of the mixture because I ended up using more than I should have and it dried out and I wasn't able to use it anymore. So I had to order more and then pretty much Amazon like back ordered it until March and I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna have any more. But I was able to find a local place that sells it. It's called, I think, White Cap. Um, so they carry it. So I was able to get it there yesterday and I was able to finish the fireplace. As you can tell, it is finally done with the coats. You can't tell where the brick was anymore. It does look a little lumpy. Um, and like I said, I think it's because there's just so much groove to the bricks like it's not your typical brick hopefully you guys don't encounter this if you decide you want to do this um and of course obviously easier ways are to put drywall on top of it make a frame around it with wood and we're just not that crafty so this is like the easiest way that we think is just gonna make it look the best without doing that or having to pay someone else to do it so anyways um it looks great and I think what really, really made this look super smooth is I went in with a big sponge, like a damp sponge, and I sponged everything after it was like almost drying. That way I could smooth everything out. So as you can see here, there's like, it's very, very smooth. I mean, as, as smooth as it can get, obviously you can't make it perfect, but um, that's pretty much what it's looking like. Once it's painted, it's gonna look great and you can't see the brick. I think the only section where you can kind of see it still is right here, but that's because like I said, it's just like the bricks were sticking out. It was like almost like a stairway. Um, it's just, it wasn't built properly. So that was like the big issue that I was having. Um, and then of course this thing here, it has paint and stuff. I'm gonna clean it up afterwards, but um, overall it's looking great. The bottom is super flat, which I love. And then the sponge that I used, because I didn't film that process, I actually did that last night. I used one of these sponges, you can find these at Home Depot, I think, or any sponge really, um, as long as it's just like these smooth, like foamy ones. Um, I just, you know, wet it and I squeezed all the water out. It was just a damp sponge. And then essentially what I did, because I didn't record this, but essentially what I did is I just kind of went like this on everything. Um, and smooth everything out. And then of course, once I'm done, I'm gonna do caulking on the sides to smooth everything out, make everything look crisp and clean. Of course, right now it doesn't, but I need to paint first. I need to tape everything down again. Um, and like I said, this, this job is very, very messy. So definitely make sure that you tape everything off. Um, I ripped off the paper, maybe like every, every like second coating because there's just so much of the dry cement crumbling everywhere so i would clean it up and then retape again which obviously you don't have to do that um you can just sweep it up or whatever but i just wanted to keep the area clean so i kept tape taking it off and and retaping and i also didn't want the tape to end up gluing itself into the concrete so i made sure to remove it and um and keep it off before it dried. If so you guys know, if you've done paint and stuff like that, if you leave the tape on, it's going to rip the paint off if you don't take it after, or sorry, before it dries. So um, I wanted to avoid all that happening, so I made sure to take off the tape right as I was done doing one coat, and then retape again.
everyone. So that is the final result of the fireplace. amazing it is perfectly imperfect it's obviously not super smooth and all that and i know a lot of you guys are going to point that out but this is pretty much as good as it can get i tried my best to like smooth it out and everything and i think like i said because the bricks are just like weird and funky it just wasn't going to work out the only way it would have happened is if i would have layered like drywall on top or if i would have done like a wood frame and then some like cement board and then do like the arctic finish on top of that then it probably would have worked out a little bit better but i'm not that crafty so of course that's just something that i honestly didn't want to get myself into and i think this is such a great solution for such a cheap price that i think even you guys can do as well and it just really transforms a room even though it's not perfect in terms of how the process of the fireplace worked and tips for you guys to make sure that you guys do it better than I did um, so first off I will probably say that when you do the Ardex finish um, make sure that you do it in smaller portions so I did half of the bag which was five pounds and I use that to to a uh, speckle so if you do have a fireplace that has a lot of grooves in it a lot of imperfections I 1000% recommend that you do it in smaller portions I was doing by two pounds so um, that's what I did in the last section I think that worked out way better than trying to do half of the bag because it dries so quickly so I recommend doing by two pounds instead so just section out two pounds of the cement mix and then obviously two cups of water um, I did water it down just a little bit more because it made it easier for me to spread it so I think I did maybe like two two and a half cups that's pretty much what I did um, and I think that was like the perfect consistency so um, that's what worked out for me and then another tip on top of that is if it dries out in the container do not use it again the second it starts drying it starts crumbling and if you start mixing more cement into it it's going to get a bunch of crumbles and that's the reason why i have tiny little bumps here and there because i was mixing it with the crumbles so um i definitely recommend just starting new and starting with a fresh bucket every time you're doing a new coating or you know you can also clean out the bucket entirely obviously i didn't have the patience to do that because it's dried and now you have to get all messy and try and clean it and like i didn't know where i was going to dump the cement mix i was like you know what i'm just going to use a whole new bucket um so definitely keep that in mind either get a bunch of buckets or just clean out the one that you have but it is a very very messy job i will say that i did not use the cement um like the finishing one i'm not sure what it's called um but like the big the big one that you like smooth out the cement with i did not use that one um because it was so groovy whenever i'd pass it over it would like cut it at the top because it was like it wasn't even so every time i'd pass it over it would just like start scraping off cement in areas that were higher than the other so i didn't end up using that i definitely would keep that in mind as well if you don't have a flat surface i would not use it at all i would just stick to the taping knives and other than that i think that's pretty much it i really hope that you guys try this out i know a couple of you guys on instagram have already told me that you already have this on your bucket list or on your to-do list um for your husband and obviously mika did help me out a little bit on here so either you could do it yourself or your hubby can help you out it's very very fun honestly kind of therapeutic to just like smear it on um and yeah and oh also um make sure you use a sponge in the end i feel like that really made a difference in the finish um if i hadn't used a damp sponge to sponge everything out once it was like semi-dry i feel like it would have turned out even uglier than this so anyways i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and definitely let me know if you guys want to see more diys diys like this um i am planning on doing a kitchen diy because i just I don't like the backsplash that we have. Um, obviously, we don't have the budget to completely remodel the kitchen, but I think doing some updates here and there are really going to make it look like how I want it. So um, definitely let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. And anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.